After the discovery of secrets or infidelity or cheating or a double life, first of all, we love to fill our minds with all this negativity, all this toxicity, all these mottos about once a cheater, always a cheater, and men are dogs and women are loose and all this crap. And then we like to go on social media and get our um, affirmation bias of um, whatever, you know, other people that are saying, leave him, he'll never change, or, you know, she just is using you or whatever. So I'm here to, to really, really press upon you. Our brains are absolutely garbage in, garbage out. What you put into them and what you get out of them, they're almost like bank accounts. So you can put all that negative stuff into your brain and you know something, maybe half of it's true, maybe 60% is true, maybe 70% is true, but if you put all that junk in there, your brain is just gonna take it to the umph degree. So why not say this? Why not tell your brain, you know what? I'm gonna focus on, yes, this sucks, and whether you decide to stay or leave, how about applying to yourself faith, hope, maybe love, dedication, determination, inspiration, motivation, strength, happiness, joy. What You need to heal regardless of what happens in your future. So why not give yourself the tools to heal? And that is simply putting in your head the possibilities of, of what could possibly happen. If you reconcile, wonderful. If you leave and go your own separate way, wonderful. You still have to heal. So tell yourself, I can heal no matter what. Whether I'm reconciling or leaving, I have hope, faith, determination, motivation. I'm inspired. There's endless possibilities, and I'm not going to limit my future or my healing by allowing constant negative stuff in my head.